For those of you that haven't met me yet, I'm Mandy Pierce. I'm the owner of Funding for Good. And I got started in the grant world about 20 years ago, 23 years ago, when I wrote my first grant for the American Lung Association in college. I didn't even know what grant writing was at the time, and I'm pretty sure there wasn't such a thing as a grant writing degree or nonprofit management degrees at that point. So a lot of what I learned was through trial and error. And one of the things that I learned was over the course of time, um, a lot of people kept coming to me for help because I had a lot of experience and I kept getting more experience. And that was the time that I realized people were coming to me and I was becoming the expert in the field. So I decided about 10 or 11 years ago that I was going to start a business, which was a part-time business initially. And then over the years it became a full-time business, which is what you see now as funding for good. But a lot of times folks will come to me and they'll say, hey, we want to take your grant writing class because we think we'd like to be a professional grant writer. And that is a wonderful idea, but one two-day class is not going to make you a professional grant writer. Um, the thing that really moved Marie and I both forward in the professional grant writing world was our level of experience. We had each over over 15 years of experience when we started consulting full-time and we had a lot of experience behind us trial and error learning things the hard way and really building a skill set so a couple of the things you want to think about when you're asking yourself how do I know if I'm ready to be a grant consultant are what type of grant consulting do you want to do do you want to be a freelancer do you want to be a contract employee do you want to be a business owner who takes on a particular set of clients, and if so, what type of clients? Do you want to take on founders? Do you want to take on small nonprofits that are a certain size? Do you prefer to work with larger nonprofits that have certain systems in place? Do you have a particular area of interest as far as the type of nonprofit? Maybe healthcare, education, human services, animal welfare? Where are your areas of passion? Um, how are you going to work with clients? Do you want to only work with clients that are in your general area? Or do you mind traveling or working virtually? How are you going to set up your clients? Are you going to take clients that keep you on retainer? So you're being paid regardless of whether they have a lot of work for you each month? Are you going to take clients by the hour? Are you going to take clients on a project basis? So we'll write these two grants for you and then that's it. Or we'll work on this federal grant for you and then that's it. Are you going to work on foundation grants only, or are you also going to learn the skill sets of state and federal grant writing, and are you going to take on all of those? What are your price points going to be? How much are you going to charge for each of your services? Because there's a lot of services that go into grant consulting other than just writing. You know, you could do grant writing, you could do grant research, you could do um, setting up a grants department to make sure all the systems are in place so they have reporting systems, tracking systems, research systems, and writing systems. Are you going to teach people how to do grant writing? Which is one of the things that Marie and I love to do here at Funding for Good because we really want people to be self-sufficient at some point in their nonprofit career and doing it for them all the time doesn't really get them there. So sometimes, maybe if it's just one federal grant or one state grant, they may not need to learn that process. But over the course of time, we really love to educate people and help them learn the skill set so they can do it later without us. Um, we'd love to take your money, but we'd also like for you at some point to have the option of, we can do it, but we'd rather focus our energy on something else and we'd rather, you know, contract the service out this year, or, you know, we can do it ourselves all the time, or, you have that other option of we can't do it because someone's always done it for us so we have to contract someone out we don't want people to be stuck in that place so <clears throat> there's a lot of things to think about and consider as you ask yourself do I want to be a grant consultant and am I ready to be a grant consultant how much experience do you have are you gonna feel comfortable answering all the questions that your client may have around grant research like should I call a program officer about this what do we say when they ask us this what types of things do we need to have ready before we start grants? Do we have enough money in our budget to write grants? Should we be writing grants? Do we have projects and programs that really align with what funders want to support right now? Is our organization robust enough and do we have the financial development at this point to qualify for grants? So having a lot of that experience under your belt is going to be helpful as you move forward with considering being a grant consultant. 
So we do have a webinar a couple of times throughout the year about, so you think you're ready to be a grant consultant. If you haven't checked it out, there should be a replay in the store on our website if you want to learn more about that. And if not, we're going to offer that one again in the fall. Um, we usually do one in the spring and fall of every year. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. And feel free to email us or set up a strategy session if you'd like to talk more about that. Thanks so much. Hope you have a great day. Thank you.